At first glance, the Stardust Ranch in Buckeye, Arizona may look like a fairly ordinary home. Well, not ordinary given that it's 3,500 square feet and located in the middle of the desert, but certainly nothing about it comes off as strange. Heck, it's not even a long drive from Phoenix. Better yet, the Stardust Ranch has been put up for sale by West USA Realty, so it can be yours for a cool 5 mil. You'll also have access to air conditioning, a swimming pool, stables, RV hookups, and even a gated entry. There's just one catch though, and depending upon your level of skepticism and your feeling about the X-Files, it may either be a selling point or a reason for you to avoid the property at all costs. After all, the Stardust Ranch has been nicknamed the Alien Ranch for a reason. John Edmonds, the current owner, claims that he has frequently seen extraterrestrial activity on the property. Not only that, but John claims to have killed no fewer than 18 aliens throughout his 20 years living there, with a samurai sword no less. He calls the creatures greys, as they look like the short, bald, grey humanoid creatures that others have reportedly seen. John hasn't walked away from all these fights unharmed, and he has the injuries to prove it. Recently, he shared these wounds from recent attack by Malevolent E.T. on his Facebook page. Do you think it's real? During one memorable incident, John apparently walked into his bedroom to find three aliens making his wife levitate above the bed. Naturally, he grabbed his sword as soon as he could and killed the intruders. With so much alien killing experience under his belt, John says that he believes beheading the aliens is key, as they will disappear otherwise. His failure to do so is why there are no bodies, he claims. Similarly, he described a time when his wife's body floated all the way from the hall to the yard and all the way up to the alien spaceship, so he started shooting at them with an AK-47 and a double banana clip. The ranch was also home to Hopeful Hooves, a horse rescue, but John plans on moving to Maine and starting a new rescue there as he leaves his old life of living in the desert and fighting aliens behind. Obviously, there's no way of knowing for sure whether or not John's claims are correct. You'll just have to visit the alien ranch and find out for yourself.